Okay, so this is uh, Aweber, list management and autoresponders. We're just going to have a quick look at how to add an Aweber sign-up form to uh, your website or to your blog. So let's have a look at how to do that for now. Uh, so we're on the correct list. This is the list that will be populated with users as they add their details. Uh, it's just the add income online and it's the main autoresponder list for the blog um, addincomeonline.com. So if you want to change the list, you can take the drop down and select go. But let's go up to list settings. We're going to add the web form to our site. So if you look down here, I've got um, one that I made just um, a few minutes ago. So we're just going to edit that one so that you can see how to do, how to go through the process. So we've got the form details. Form name is AIO.com just so that I can recognize it, addincomeonline.com it's the blog lightbox, lightbox is just the style of uh, popover but let's have a look at that just now we've got the type, you can have it inline which appears embedded within your page and uh, appears within the content of the page so you'll have text above it or below it and then your form will, will arrive somewhere in between there and you can have a pop-up which just arrives as the as the user is browsing your page, which is the style we're going to use today, but not necessarily just a pop-up. Pop-under, I'm not a big fan of, a little bit annoying. Exit pop-up, very useful, um, but we're going to pop down to this one here, the lightbox hover, um, which fades out most of the page and it displays the sign-up form in the middle of the page. So it really just attracts the eye to that sign up form so the user has to either decide not to input their details, they can close the, the form and continue to browse or they can pop in their details um, click the button to send and then uh, that's them signed up for the for the form. So we are going to use a lightbox hover it's not going to pop in suddenly, it's not going to come in from any of these um, angles from the top bottom left or right, we're just going to fade it in gradually so we've taken that selection can leave the standard size, standard background color. Here's the delay. Either you can have it um, pop up immediately, or we've chosen to wait 15 seconds for the browser just to look at the page, have a quick scan, um, and 15 seconds after it loads, then the form will be displayed to give them the option to sign up or not. Um, so you can set your form here, pop up recurrence. You can set your form to display every time the user comes. Um, or display it only once per visitor, so that's just for new people coming to your blog. Once they've seen it once, they've made their decision either to sign up or not, and they won't see it again. But we're going to pop in display every 10 days, so that just gives us the option to change the offer. If we want to change the document that we give away, or the free offer, then um, that's going to automatically represent um, 10 days. So the user might come every day for 10 days, but they'll only be presented with the option to sign up to the list uh, once every 10 days. So we don't want that to be too annoying for our users. Uh, we don't want it to detract from the user experience. We've left a standard thank you page um, and everything else we've left as standard. So let's click on next. We'll go through to the design of the form. So this is the form we've designed at the moment. Uh, if we just look at the different elements of the page Right in the middle here we have uh, just the standard name and email sign up boxes. You can add new fields over here. I'll leave you to explore that. Um, and we can put in anything we like into the button here. So we can type in click me or anything you like. Okay. So yes please send my report. You have two options. With above. Let's just go into the source. So let's wipe this out. So the design, three options. You can design, just type in any text you like. And you can click preview at the bottom to see what you've come up with. Or you can use the source here. You can paste in some source code, some HTML code, which gives you um, just the options to format the text in different ways. So that's the one we used for above the signing page. We just used an image below, but again, I just take this out for a second. You can type in anything you like in here. And that would appear below. That would appear below the button.
but we are going to use an image. So we take the source, paste that in. There's the preview, and we can save the image there. So that's our form. We will save our form. Now we get the option here. So this is the form that we've just used. Add inkmonline.com. It's the blog light box. So we don't want to preview it necessarily. There we go, let's preview. So it's going to wait 15 seconds before it pops up. And just um, if you remember that you can choose to uh, to allow the pop-up to come immediately just by, you know, uh, reducing the settings down to maybe one second or two seconds or even longer, you know, 30 seconds or a minute, just it was really anything you like. So we've done up to 30 seconds um, and that's it appeared. That's how it looks. So if we're happy with that, we can close this window. So let's grab the HTML in here. You can have the JavaScript snippet. Um, so we can take this, we're going to copy. If it's an inline form, then you have the option to take this box up here will show you um, the option to grab the HTML um, and then it's slightly more editable but for now and with the light box option uh, we only have the option of taking the JavaScript code so let's grab that we'll copy that page so close that page and then we want to go over to our site um, so I'm just looking at um, I'm already logged into addincomeonline.com uh, we want to click on where do we want to go? I want to go to design on my particular theme. Let's just wait for that to load up. Today, design, click on widgets. And we're going to pop this code into um, the sidebar. We're just going to use a text box and pop it into the sidebar. So I would scroll down the left hand side here of the page come to text and I would click add but we already have one so we'll pop up here and I know that's the one underneath here so we can edit um, and we would just paste in our code okay so that's the code that's in already so then we just scroll down to here we click change I want to save the changes We'll just give that a few seconds to update. 